Hi, it's Trinity. I'm back again. We are no longer in that obnoxious place. This is the fun one. This is my favorite warehouse we have. We have three of them. This is my favorite one because I enjoy exploring here. Those that are coming down here to get the materials for your houses. This is what we like to show you. There's so much to choose from. This is also where we say you need the headlamp the most because this has a rotted floor in it in the middle. So I'm going to show that to you too. But as we were saying, giving you an idea, we walk through this place. And when Darby says we have a lot of doors and windows, he's not kidding. We have a lot of doors and windows. Big ones, little ones, fancy ones. We have a little bat that lives in here too. I haven't seen him for a while. But the nice thing is you can actually get, even the windows, they're still, oh, look at that beautiful top. Give me just a look around real quick. Back here is where we have shutters. Give it that nice little pop, cute decorative elements. A lot of fun times we have fun. See the nice little shutters. We like to take apart some of the old doors some of these go back to about 1910. These wood panels are beautiful to make signs out of. So something else we're going to do for our store is have antique little signs that people can buy. A lot of Etsy, Pinterest kind of things, you know. Back here, we have our glass. Walking through to the back where all the doors are, or a lot of the doors are. Big ones. The reason I'm over here is to kind of show you windows in their casements. Uh, I'm showing you all this to give you an idea of what we've got, what we got to work with. Lots and lots. When Darby says he can give away millions of dollars in materials, people a lot of times don't believe those kind of numbers. But it's like Monsters, Inc. Look at that. If you've ever watched that cartoon. These go on forever and ever, it looks like. We've got doors for you. We've got windows for you. This is what I'm talking about. We had a gentleman recently fall through the, the floor here. You gotta know where to walk. I will tell people where to walk, where not to walk. got some of the metal casement windows in case you're wanting to do a greenhouse those are kind of fun for that look at this gorgeous piece yummy this is just a quick walk by so you can see what we've got this one has a little bit of a uh, people come in, came in once in a while and messed up things but not as much breakage I think they just wanted to hang out. So we've got somebody on property here that kind of watches out over the place. So we don't have the same problems. But if you look down, you can see through the floor. It's a bit of a drop, maybe four feet. It can hurt. So we do pay attention to what we're doing. Everybody make sure good batteries, good chargers. Here's indoor doors. But make sure you have what you need when you come out here to pick up your supplies. Good gloves. A great headlamp, not a cheesy one that barely has any light because you're going to need a lot. Here's the other part of our warehouse where we're talking about more lumber. We've got a lot of beadboard. We've got a lot of nice trim. So we'll be coming out as part of the days. You're going to have a tour of the warehouses, looking at the materials, checking out everything, seeing what you like, what you might want. This whole building is made of longleaf pine. Beautiful pieces, heavy duty. The roof is a nice tin, old tin. The old rusty tin that actually is sturdy and thick. Once again, rotted floor. You gotta know where to walk. You can even see where it's kind of breaking through right there. So you gotta be smart how you do this because you don't wanna be surprised the hard way. This is our pile of tile. Seriously, it's like three feet tall. If you need antiques, you need toilets, you need sinks, you need bathtubs, we've got all sorts of things. I like shopping here. The owner's pretty cool, gives me a discount. Mwah. Love you, honey. <laughs> Depending on how fancy we're going. See, there's already stairs. You don't have to build your stairs, you just take some with you. 
Columns, lots of columns. Here's a piece. Darby loves to always quiz people on this piece. It's interesting looking. It came out of a school. What was it used for? Any ideas? This was where the chalk would sit on the chalkboard. I need to have one of those. I can see using that in our place, actually. More beautiful wood. Lots of trim. We've got some headers out here somewhere, too. But we've got some gorgeous trim. Once again, you got to watch where you're stepping. We'll work together with everybody so nothing happens to anybody. But we are going to have you design some great houses. Think about it. You don't need huge, tiny houses. Some of our most popular tiny houses are truly the tiniest of them. You know, the ones that are less than 100 square feet are the ones that they, they rent out the, the most. Everybody wants to be in the gingered swan. So when you come out here, stay in one of these houses. Get a feel for what it feels like to be in these houses. One of the things that we're also going to be doing is tearing down this warehouse. So people who want to come and help tear down the warehouse can take part of the warehouse with them as their payment for helping us. This is great wood. Structural grade. Look at this huge. You can see how big this building is. That's a lot of tin. That's a lot of lumber. I'm walking over here to show you where they've been harvesting it in the past. Once again, be careful where you walk. Pay attention to the joists. You stand in the middle of them. You don't stand on the rotted cinders. Here we go. Yeah, we have a lot of fireplace mantles. Somebody's asking about those. Those are in our warehouse at Salvage, Texas. Beautiful pieces. I will show those to you guys later. Some of those we thought would be fun to use to make uh, the fronts of a doghouse. I think Fido deserves something classy too. So here you can see where they've already started harvesting the wood, the lumber. So we're going to be tearing this thing down, the top and the bottom, and using it, building with it. Great decks, great buildings. And that's the nice thing about this. Go on to Etsy. If you don't have a good imagination, somebody's probably, probably already thought of the idea. So right over here, we don't have these old heaters anymore. We don't use these guys. But if you look at them, look how gorgeous the detail is on the end of them. Think about using these huge pieces and make a cool table out of them. That's the legs of the table. What a neat piece. There's an end table. Lots of little pieces to together for an end table. We just have to take it apart. But anyway, here's a short, like I said, quick tour of the property. You can see it's a huge warehouse. There's my car to give it perspective. This isn't a tiny building, guys. And it's full. You saw that. And we have so much. In fact, I'm going to go through one more section where we have the windows and screens. Because you might need some screen doors. I don't know what your plan is for your place. I want to make sure you go home with what you need so you can make some beautiful pieces. Jump. Okay. I jump down there with my bad knee. I have no cartilage in it, no meniscus, it got shredded. But I ground and I use our clay on property and I reset my knee, I can run and jump and nothing hurts anymore. One quick little show on this side, then I'll let you go. Two little rooms I didn't go into. Right in here, we're talking about windows. Lots of windows. Lots and lots and lots of windows. Do you want a single pane windows? Do you want double pane windows? Four pane. You know, the fancier you get, we'll have to see what we do with it. But the whole idea is, get some ideas of what you want to do. You know, when you say, I want a window, I want to put a window here. Which window? How many choices do you have? We have lots of choices. You want to have some of these ideas already kind of thought out because you only have a limited time here to learn. Oh, look, that one's a three panel. You see twos and fours. You don't see a lot of threes. Well, I don't. Over here, we have casement windows back here. We've got the middle ones back here. Let me watch where I'm stepping again. Seriously paying attention. Got some screens. Make this work so you can have a summer area. See the casement windows back there. Once again, I watch the floor. 
I happen to like being on this side of the floor. Don't really want to be on the other side. Okay. Are they gorgeous? And then little fine things like um, the finishing details. Like these plinth blocks. We've got plinth blocks. These are kind of plain. They still could be used. This one's got a little bit of character to it. See the kind of style to it? Some of them are fancier than others, but think about getting a plinth block and we can always, I've got some tiles. We could print a picture on it and have it as an art piece to finish up on the edge of one of your, one of your walls, one of the frames. But like I said, look through this stuff. You get an idea of what we've got. You're designing a house. It's kind of fun to kind of know what you can start with. One more, one more spot. Some of the prettier doors, some of the most magnificent doors. From a school. And then screens, you want know, screened in a porch, but they're already all painted. You got some green ones, you got some white ones, you got some cream ones, beige ones, blue ones, purple. All these screens that you can use. That one's just precious. Lots to think about, guys. I'm excited for all you guys that have already been picked as winners to come out here. I can't wait to meet you all. I'm glad my one group got to Johnson City okay. I was worried about y'all. That's not an easy road trip. Lots of windows, lots of doors. Even kind of a fun, crazy one. Where is it at? Maybe here. See, there's every... This is a great place to go hide and go seek, by the way. There it is. Look at that crazy, funky door. Needs some work, but, you know, it's a unique door. You don't get those every day. Last wrap around. Before I go back outside. Oh, that one's nice and rich. As obviously you can tell by the paint job. That was a whole series from an entire house. That's beautiful work, guys. So, think about it. Work on your drawings. Think about what you want. How you want it to look. Realize that big's not always better. That's why we're going tiny. Do quality, quanti not quantity. Small, comfortable, well-designed, best use of space. You do have the space master. This guy knows what he's doing. He knows how to make everything fall, fall together well. I feel so short when I get to these. Anywho. That is pretty much it. This is a, just a quick run through. This is warehouse number two. This is the one on College Street, our biggest one. Once again, we got lots of racks to put things on. Lots of lumber out there as well to choose from. Bathtubs if we're thinking about using those as well. But uh, we have three warehouses, one on property of Salvage, Texas, two out here in Gonzales. We have a little store of architectural antiques in Gonzales in an antique store, and we're going to hopefully fix one up there at Salvage, Texas as well. We want to start creating a lot of Etsy things and packages so people can make them at home. But anyway, I hope you liked that very short tour. Now you know what we're working with. You got some ideas of what we've got to start with. And uh, keep writing. If you haven't already submitted an entry for the contest, please go ahead and get one submitted. Tell us what you're wanting to do, and uh, we'll get back to you. Until then, everybody have a fantastic day. And I'm going to head off to get groceries for our first guest that shows up tonight. So we can have some great meals with them and, and visit and, and just enjoy everybody. Y'all take care. Take care. Bye-bye.